Okay guys, so this is my latest project here. Got some worms here. So I'm gonna start growing the, er, growing. <laughs> you grow worms. <laughs> I'm gonna start breeding these things out so that we can sell them as fishing bait and also for uh, compost. So, uh, oops, sounds like someone got a hold of the kitten. So, uh, I got a thousand red wigglers, and then I got, oh, I don't know, they, it was like a little bit extra to buy some night crawlers, so I got some of those too. So, they ship them live, of course, in peat moss. In these little bags. It says guaranteed live. I don't see any more in the bag. Yep, they all look like they're doing good. So we're going to keep them in this container for now. But then I have this big old Black River made trough that I'm eventually going to put some of these in. These, like, they only eat off the top three inches of soil but these night crawlers like to dig deep and so the night crawlers will need something deeper i, I, I might just keep these in a separate container but uh for now i don't know we'll see i'm gonna put them probably all in one bin actually but uh but uh yep they look like they're all doing good they're scrawny because of the sh because uh, uh, being shipped and everything which FedEx crushed my box I'm glad that they all made it which I'll include the picture of I wasn't very happy about it but they're all fine I guess okay so these are gonna what is that oh, oh some kind of little metal tie all right so we're oh there they are of course these these are the night crawlers, and they like to huddle up in big giant wads. So this will be my fishing bait. Of course, you can use red wigglers too, but obviously they're much smaller. Um, but eventually, so every 90 days, these things are going to double. So I cannot remember. I think there's two supposed to be. I don't look like 250 night crawlers, but maybe there's only a hundred. I don't know. There's a thousand of the red wigglers. So in Approximately 90 days, we should have 2,000 red wigglers, and then these, however many, will double. And uh, we'll just keep at it. And uh, eventually, we'll hopefully have enough to start selling them for bait and for a compost. But uh, so they ship it in peat moss, I think I already said that. And they recommend putting them in a bin and then covering it with newspaper and topsoil. So, and then uh, getting it wet. So, I'm gonna. Where's that bag? Can you hand me that bag behind you? So they like to eat newspaper and like and dried leaves, and then of course some. Uh, hold on. Uh, they also like to eat, uh, obviously, leftover veggies and stuff. There are certain things you can't get on, but. No you can't give them meat. Exactly. Yeah, they're they're probably excited to get out of that s small old nasty bag, yeah, huh? Jumping. <laughs> Look at them; they're all too. excited. Yeah, they're all digging they're down. Hyper now. So I'm gonna get this paper on here real quick. Put the camera down, and then I'll get the soil on top and soak it, and then we'll show you what that looks like. Okay, so we got the topsoil. They recommend topsoil. Or peat moss, or I forgot what else to put on the top of here. I might have was supposed to put the newspaper on first. I can't remember, but uh, I don't have newspaper, so I'm using I'm using this paper feed bag. Oops, I was gonna put some more water on here. Gonna get this nice and moist in here. Get them all fattened up. There's a few worms. There's, few worms There's one of the kittens. It's our little. Is it the male or the female? Yeah. I think it is. Still good. Nobody? 
There we go. That's nice and moist, so we'll put this paper on top. And then probably add a little bit more soil on the top and a little more water. Get them fed. Okay, so as you can see, we got that bag in there, that, that paper bag, and we got uh, this topsoil up here. And it's nice and moist. I put, I got it, oh, that's probably a little moist in that spot. There's a bunch of peat moss down in there, so it might be a little wet, but this paper and the peat moss will soak it up pretty quickly. I probably should mix it up a little better. I won't keep it this moist all the time. I just, <clears throat> it's a little extra moist today because they need to rehydrate after being in, 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 uh, <laughs> shipped around. Shipped around. For so long. Yeah, I think that other side just got a little mo moist, but this side looks good. So that's why they're a little scrawny right now, just because that's kind of dry over there. They have it hiding. Yeah, they'll move around here in a minute. Get excited. Yeah, I can start. So we'll leave them alone for for now. We'll come back and check on them. Uh, Tomorrow, maybe probably even in a couple hours, just to make sure they're not climbing out and stuff. Sorry, my video is all over the place. I'm trying to video and do this at the same time. But anyway, that's that. I'm pretty excited about this. To, um, you know, I'm not expecting to just make a ton of money off of this, but could be a little bit of extra here and there. And um, it'll be beneficial to me and my compost because eventually I plan to have a huge compost out in the pasture. We've got a pretty good sized compost started right now. But that'll probably mostly go into my garden this year. And then uh, we'll start up again next, for next year to get some compost. But I've been wanting to do this for a long time and I finally got to it. And <clears throat> my next project will be uh, mealworms. I really, really, really want to get mealworms. They're uh, highly nutritious, not only for other animals, but they're nutritious for people too. I'm not going to be eating them, but um, I, might, I might be eating them a lot. They you actually, might eat them? Yeah, have you ever had a mealworm? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Has I, have I ever had a mealworm? Yes. <laughs> yes, I, I have had a mealworm. We ate some at a Fear Factor birthday survival party and um and uh so they actually they really don't taste bad at all uh it's kind of like a sunflower seed yeah, and salty. um yeah like a salty sun well that was probably the seasoning they put on it it was a freeze-dried mealworm but um it was not bad honestly so you know end of the world hits craziness hits i have mealworms but also i'd like to give my chickens treats in the winter like to have enough to supply them and uh, use them for whatever else we need. But uh, anyway, your hands are pretty dirty, so are mine. Otter is here joining us. Otter, Otter. what are you doing? Oh, she's silly. But anyway, I've got to go take care of some animals. I've been gone all day. I got some material for another project I'm excited to share and uh, we also went and dropped off our beehive today to go have bees put in it and uh, they'll call me here in a couple weeks and we'll do a video on when we get those picked up and set and we're gonna clean out our other hives and uh, try to catch a swarm here pretty soon hopefully we're gonna be praying that we catch at least one swarm. That would be awesome. Hey, don't don't smash it. Don't do that. But anyway, we'll catch you later. Just wanted to pop on here and show you all this. And uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it. And subscribe if you haven't. Bye, y'all.